have found that I have a few infected trees or attack trees that there is some beetle uh, but it's a lot bigger problem with them in southern Sweden and further up north and down in Europe they have massive issues I don't think they will it sounds like they won't have any spruce forests in the future maybe I won't either so I tried to take care of a couple of them and then a few other fallen over trees and some of the leftover logs from last winter the ones I had missed earlier or well my dad had missed but I can't blame him being out with the tractor when the forwarder had failed and a lot of snow and so on so we tried putting a some of that through the sawmill and we had issues it's not really cutting really well and we blame the bench not being uh, really in line with the blade and so on and we even ended up uh, damaging the expensive brand new blade well it's just dull it can be sharpened but uh, that, that was an issue so we had to bring out an old blade uh, it's a lot duller than the new one it was cutting super well until we scratched our head trying to figure out what was wrong and we even moved one of the benches uh, the support a little bit and it just made things worse and the parts come out kind of conical the top is bigger when you do the the blocks because we made some blocks out of some of the longer pieces for maybe uh, giving another log building some love probably not until yet next year though and we ended up finding out that the blade is not vertical well, it's a tiny difference well here we're discussing the support but the blade uh, we have uh, tried to get everything uh, leveled and we found there are some things added to some of the rollers yeah here it is what it sound like when you're low on oil in the harvester because I brought that out for a little bit of a test run after some of the repairs and so on and see how the oil leaks are doing and process some of the things that were just cut to length and not uh, delimbed uh, in the forest it was just brought out my dad had picked them out so it's nice to see it working but it will need a few more uh, repairs back to the issues with the sawmill yes the blade is not vertical compared it's not a 90 degree angle compared to the bench and uh, we found that the one of the bearing support for the axle for the blade they have put washers under one of them i wonder if the foundation of it had moved and they s wanted to have things leveled it's that like that when buying old stuff that there have been many experts over the years uh, trying to do something so uh, we my dad had started i wasn't involved but he started removing the the washers uh, and uh, now uh, the and we've also removed the the extra uh, material on some of the rollers because that kind of made the bench uh, tilt a little when it was uh, close to the blade so and uh, even if it was kind of well cleaned up Själva slangen även om man är skadad av ful. Men uppe i pressningen är det ganska oljigt nu. Ja, yeah, short hose där. Uh, I was talking Swedish. I didn't turn the volume down. But the short hose där. I, I found quite a lot of them. They are not actually leaking a whole lot or have any damage that is leaking. But where they're pressing, where they press the coupling in place, they seem to be drooling a tiny bit. <laughs> They clean up the hose the head a little better also uh, after having it out and sure it seems to leak a little still uh, clean up better and search for more leaks maybe change a few more hoses uh, 
we did keep cutting some and, and uh, 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 this was actually before my dad changed the angle of the axle so it, it's uh, not doing really super good cuts but we were able to process everything we had laying around to get rid of that and uh, we will maybe need to get it started uh, again and see if things have improved I've also bought equipment to measure what kind of revolutions the, the saw blade runs because uh, if you send off a, a blade or a disc, cutting disc to a professional sharpener, they might tune it so it doesn't wobble very much at a certain arm RPM. And, and uh, so it's good to know what kind of RPM the, the blade is doing when in operation. And things were laid up and will be covered here so they can dry. So, more brushing videos will come.